Former MDOC head Chris Epps is facing 49 counts of bribery and kickbacks after a year-long federal investigation. In a 16 WAPT special report, Scott Simmons investigates how the scheme went on for so long without anyone noticing. No comment. No comment. Federal investigators say they uncovered a labyrinth of no-bid contracts and what are called sole source deals, all supposedly arranged by former MDOC Commissioner Chris Epps and former lawmaker turned businessman Cecil McCroy. In some cases, uh, they simply take advantage of these exemptions or these loopholes or things. Max Arinder is the executive director of PEER, a legislative watchdog group. That group has been criticizing MDOC and its no-bid contracts as far back as 2011. According to the federal indictments, the commissary contract was a deal worth millions, where one of McCroy's companies provided convenience stores inside of state prisons. The deal passed without much scrutiny because McCroy put up the cost of the store goods. Since the state got a percentage of the sales, the state didn't have to put up any money. Investigators say Epps was able to craft the state contract, so McCroy got the deal without having to compete with any other companies. The financing of that particular contract that allowed it to fall outside of law. According to the feds, McCroy paid Epps almost one million dollars and Epps sent a billion dollars worth of business with MDOC. It was an alleged scheme that managed to stay below radar for years despite three state oversight boards that must approve state contracts. Well, there are controls in place. It's really difficult, you know, for fraudulent expenditure funds to take place. But obviously, there's some loopholes we need to find. We Kevin Upchurch heads the Department of Finance and Administration, and he's on one of those boards. His agency manages the state's accounting services. He admits McCrory and Epps found gaps in the state's security net for state contracts. And shame on us if we don't stop right at this junction, figure out what do we need to do. There's a screw loose. We need to tighten it up. The governor has appointed a task force to investigate all of the NDOC contracts. But state lawmakers are talking about stepping in, too, and they may have to undo some of their own work, like in 2012, when Chris Epps and MDOC convinced lawmakers that the threshold for what's required for a no-bid contract be raised from $100,000 to $500,000. We just need to go in and do away with the no-bid contracts throughout state government unless there's just extenuating circumstances. We've got too many contracts right now. Uh, that are sole source. We got too many contracts that have been approved to be no bid contracts. You're talking kickbacks, bribes, those kind of issues taking place uh, in this case. And Scott, what we're looking at, you know, those things don't appear on the ledger. The state auditor says it is an exhausting process pouring over bank records and payment disclosures to root out corruption. Stacy Pickering says he has his 30 plus investigators working around the clock and he says he needs even more investigators. It will always help head off some of these things. Will we always be able to prevent every single bit of corruption? No, because unfortunately people are people. And there is every indication more people will be implicated in the federal investigation into state contracts and kickbacks. Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News. Chris Epps is due back in court in January.